Hey there friends, it's Paul and welcome to another video and today we've got an unboxing of a lot of Bakugan. So first up we've got my Seida Munikis, which is a Baku tech I've been wanting for so long. It took me such a long time to get him but I'm so happy that I finally have one. And next up we've got this custom Overlord Demork, which is a Bakugan I got uh, in a giveaway on Instagram. It took quite a while to get here to where I live but I finally got him so I'm really happy about that then we've got some reboot Bakugan here with me I bought these I bought three of them uh, fairly recently in a toy store here where I live it's been the first time in such a long time that I actually bought new Bakugan and it feels pretty cool you know quite a nostalgic feeling to buy new Bakugan and yeah it's pretty pretty nice pretty pretty nice you know and last but not least here we've got this super mega evo battle arena from the reboot which is a stadium we could call it which i basically bought because it has the leonidas as a special bakugan that comes with it and yeah i mean it's the only official leonidas we have so yeah it's pretty awesome so let's get to unboxing all these bakugan so first up we've got this Bakugan Ultra, Crux and Nobulus. So from what I've read, uh, you know, quickly, you know, since many of you know, I'm not the most knowledgeable with Reboot Bakugan. But from what I read, these are like fusions between two different Bakugan. And yeah, I mean, I saw them in a shopping mall, so I wanted to get them. So yeah, let's try and get it open. It feels... So weird to open a Bakugan after like 10, 11 years. Feels pretty weird. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's take the Bakugan out. Then we've got the course and of course the pack with, I guess, you know, the cards, instructions, all that good stuff. So here we've got our Bakugan in all its glory. So let's try and take this thingies out. Uh, nope, I don't think it's gonna work. So wait a second. <laughs> Okay, we're back now with some scissors, so I'm gonna cut this little plastic thingy off so we can free our Bakugan from this plastic case. So we've got our first Bakugan out of the package and it looks pretty pretty nice. I mean, yeah, look at those colors. I love the vibrant green color. I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know the symbols of these attributes, like the designs, but I'm guessing this Bakugan is like a fusion between a Ventus one and an... I, it's not a Hayes, because Hayes is like greenish. So, mm, Aurelis, I think it's pronounced like that. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name, but yeah, I think it's between uh, a Ventus and an Aurelis Bakugan. I really like that combo of green, you know, green plastic and the golden details. And here... We've got the ball form of this Bakugan. It took me a bit of time to try and to get him into the, the ball form uh, because I basically didn't see the instructions. Uh, but here, you know, it's closed right now. Looks pretty nice, pretty golden, pretty shiny. So now let's go and open the pack. No, first, 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 let's see the little, I think they're called Baku cores. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I don't know anything about these reboot things. So I don't know what these symbols stand for, but I'll try and learn it. Um, okay, so let's now open this pack with, I'm guessing all the instructions and stuff really to Bakugan, this new Bakugan. Uh, okay, uh, let me use the scissors to cut these little tape. Okay. So, first up, we've got the instruction manual of Bakugan. These Bakugan Armor Alliance. So, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I gotta read all of these instructions because I'm guessing the game is, isn't uh, that similar to the classic one I think many of us know. Uh, I'm guessing here, uh, yeah, in different languages. So, I'll have a read later of that. Then we've got, okay. This could have been a bit convenient a while ago. So, okay, this is pretty cool. Now we've got like actual instructions with each Bakugan on how to close them. I think that's a pretty cool addition to these new Bakugan. And if we flip it over, we've got the list, I guess, of all Bakugan in this season. 
I, I'm guessing it's from a specific season of that version of the show. Then we've got this pretty awesome looking gate cart. I'm really liking it then. Uh, I, I'm, I don't know which Bakugan this is, but I'm guessing it's also a type of fusion between two Bakugan. It looks pretty awesome, pretty badass character. Then we've got the, I think this is called like the character cards. Here we can see Trox and Nobulus, uh, both I guess separate. And then I think if we flip them around here, we've got the fusion of these two Bakugan. It's pretty awesome how, you know, this T-Rex looking Bakugan fuses with the armor, like the awesome metal armor of the other one. Looks pretty nice. And then we've got an ability card, I'm guessing. Uh, I don't know any of the symbols. I'm guessing the B is for like, I think it's called like battle points. <laughs> I'm not sure, like, I'm sorry, but I'm, uh, later on I'll try and read the rules, you know, get to know how to play the reboots. So, yep. So now let's try and open this Bakugan. Let's roll it onto the gate card. So, yeah. And of course, we fail in our first attempt. And let's see. Okay, it finally worked. Uh, I like that, you know, the, like the Bakugan opens from its tail. That's pretty unique. Like I'm used to the Bakugan opening like from the base. So now after reading the instructions here, we are trying to close the Bakugan properly with our, without messing it up. So yeah, it looks pretty nice, pretty nice. And now we are going to try to open it with uh, one of these Baku cores because I've seen many people do that. I guess it's part of the game. So of course <laughs> we're going to fail on this first one. And oh, okay, it worked the second time. And yeah, looks pretty nice. Pretty nice design of this first Bakugan of these unboxing, you know. And I really like it. Really like it a lot. Okay, next up we've got our second Bakugan, which is Howler and Serpentes, I guess it's pronounced. So here we can look at the Bakugan inside the packaging. And there's the design of the fused Bakugan. If we flip it over, we can see that once again it comes with the character card, the ability card, the gate card, and two of these uh, Baku cores. So let's get it open and it still feels pretty weird to open Bakugan after so long like for the last what like three years since I started to you know restarted my collection I've always gotten secondhand Bakugan mainly so it feels pretty weird to open a new one after so so long and yep as the uh, first one we got the Baku cores we got the Bakugan and the little pack with uh, all the cards, instructions, all the good stuff. So let's first get this Bakugan open. Okay, let's get it out. And take it out of the plastic. Key cut. And let's take it out. And well, I'm really liking the design again on this one. From what I'm seeing, I'm guessing this Bakugan is, again, a mix of a Darkus one. And, uh, damn, I think that logo again is from that Aurelis uh, attribute. I think it's called Factions now. I'm not sure. But it looks pretty cool. Like, okay, from what I'm seeing here, like the first Bakugan, uh, I'm guessing is like a three-headed dog or wolf. And I'm guessing the other one is a type of, like, dragon, snake-ish creature, <laughs> something like that. But yeah, it, it looks really nice, the design. I like how they combine the color of the two attributes, you know, the, the black, the purple, and green, and then with the golden aspects of the design of these two attributes. Okay, let's open the pack now. Once again, let's see what cards we get. Okay, so first up, once again, we got the manual. And afterwards, here we got, I guess, the, the instructions on how to close this Bakugan. And this is a pretty, pretty awesome, you know, addition to this new Bakugan. Because back in the day with the classic ones, we never got, like, real instructions on how to close them. So we had to kind of improvise and learn on the spot. And here, once again, we got another list with uh, all the Bakugan, I guess, from that season or that or that uh, wave or new, of new Bakugan. I guess you can call it. And then here we've got a new, another uh, gate card. Wow, this looks like a pretty, I, I'm guessing that's like a Drago, I don't know. 
looks like a pretty buff of Bentos Dragonoid. Looks pretty badass, I must say. Then we got the character card. Ah, okay, so I'm guessing that uh, Serpentis is like a type of dragonish thing creature. And then we've got the Fusion. Looks pretty badass, those two combined. Looks really menacing, I guess. <laughs> And I still don't know what those symbols mean, uh, you know, at the bottom, but I'll try and learn them. Then we've got these, uh, this ability card. Then we're trying to close this Bakugan now. It was pretty a bit tough. So first we had to pull the legs back, then close the wings, and then at the end the tail. And yeah. We are seeing the Bakugan in his closed ball form in all of his glory. And that color combo of... That main color combo, I should say, of black and gold details looks pretty badass. And then we've got the, those additional purple and green or darkest ones. They complement each other pretty good. Like, pretty, pretty good. So let's try and roll it out. And of course we're going to fail on the first attempt. Let's see if this one we can do it. Nope. Okay, another fail. And boom, there we go. <laughs> Again, this one opens from, I guess, its tail. Which is pretty unique compared to the classic ones, you know, that opened from the base. But yeah, I'm, I'm loving these ones. Then we've got this Geogun. And from what I've learned of these, like, really from searching <laughs> only a bit i think these ones are like trap of bakugan nowadays and these new in the reboot so let's get it open this one is called arcleon i believe so let's get it open get it out of its packaging it still feels weird to open new bakugan after so long but let's do it let's do it okay let's get this open there's our little Bakugan inside the packaging. I hear some tape behind it. Uh, let's cut it out to get those carts out of this plastic thingy. Okay. And there, there we go. And now uh, let's. Uh, okay, there's some tape there. No, let's use our scissors. Okay. And let's free this Bakugan. Okay. And here we've got Arcleon in all of his glory. And the first thing I noticed with this one, it's pretty cool that we've got a combination of, you know, like the solid plastic and translucent one. I've never seen Bakugan with like that plastic combination I, I could say looks really nice you know makes the I don't know the design unique uh, very very nice and this one looks like a type of griffin style Bakugan and I don't know how crab Bakugan work on the reboot but I'm guessing it's similar to the classic ones uh, but I'll search a, a bit about it then we if we open up this the pack again of course we've got another pack of instructions and i don't know if you know as the seasons uh you know continued if the game changed i'm guessing it did like in the original series uh so i'll have to read all the manuals and see if there are different things then here we've got another list of bakugan here we've got bakugan ultra geogun and then conventional bakugan and yeah they look really cool i mean they, these are like the first reboot ones i'm getting and so far so good they look pretty epic and now i'm wanting to buy more of these here we've got another uh gate card uh, here what i noticed is that the attribute bonus here you i guess some bakugan like get their power deleted from what i saw there with the akos one then here we've got our i guess the ability card of this bakugan plus 400 i guess battle points <laughs> And this, I'm guessing, is the character card of Arcleon. Looks pretty nice. Like, the design of this Bakugan looks really awesome. Really menacing. And badass. <laughs> okay, so... Let me try and close this one. I think it's gonna be easier than the other ones. So, give me a second here. Um, okay, it worked. 
work pretty good. And yeah, I mean, look look at like the the fusion of these like translucent and solid plastic. Looks pretty pretty awesome, pretty nice, like pretty unique. And from what I've seen, and you know, in videos and other things, like there are a whole bunch of Bakugan that with this same pattern of plastics. And I'm really looking forward to getting more of these. So let's get him, get him open. And yeah, pretty nice Bakugan. Um, yeah, I'm loving this reboot Bakugan. <laughs> the first one, uh, the first ones I'm getting, you know, opening. They are really nice. Okay, next up we've got my custom Overlord Demork, which is a Bakugan I won in a giveaway from the Instagram page called Rosurian. Uh, she is a Bakugan artist. I consider her to be a Bakugan artist because she customizes tons of Bakugan, does such an amazing work with them. And about, I think it was in close to December, uh, she made a giveaway of some custom Bakugan she had as, as she celebrated the reaching a milestone on her page, which is so awesome. And I won. <laughs> I was like so shocked that I won. And when I got that message of, oh, congratulations, you won, um, I was given the choice to choose between different Bakugan. And when I saw this custom Overlord Demorg, I was like, I gotta get this Bakugan, it looks so incredible. So I asked her for this one and I was able to get it. And from what I see, this Bakugan it was originally a darkest one. And this color combo of, of added, you know, red details and golden ones in the horns looks incredible. This Bakugan looks so, so awesome. I really love the design of them work. And it's so awesome that there are so many Bakugan artists out there who can turn, you know, common Bakugan into such amazing creations. It's really amazing. And I'm so happy to be part of this community, to be part of the people that customize it. It's really amazing. Because, you know, when you customize a Bakugan and finish it, it always looks so awesome. So, yep, let's do a little celebration dance right now. Okay, next up we've got my Seda Munikis. And as I said before, this was a Bakugan that took so long for me to get, like, every day for, like, the past year. I think I've been searching on eBay for this one. And, of course, sometimes the, a new listing came out with this Bakugan being offered, but... People wanted so much money for this one. I think, like, as a average, people asked like four hundred dollars for this one. Like, it was ridiculous. And you know, of course, I don't have the money to get to you know to pay four hundred bucks for this Bakugan, so I had to wait and wait and wait and wait. And about a month ago, I saw a new listing, and this one was of a guy in Japan who was selling it for $150. <laughs> I know $150 is still a lot of money, but compared to those $400, I was like, no man, I, got, I gotta take the chance and buy this Bakugan. So I did, and I think this Bakugan was being sold for a little bit less money, because sometimes one of, their, uh, one of his feet is a bit loose, so it will fall down, but I mean, I don't really care about it, because I finally got a Munikis, so yeah, I'm so happy that I got this Bakugan finally. It was probably one of those Bakutex I always wanted, and now I have it. So now here we've got um, Unikis's gate card, and which is pretty weird is that there is no attribute bonus in this one. Still, I, this one has the classic Bakugan design on the back, and here we got Unikis, you know, glowing, his eyes glowing, looking all shiny and stuff. It looks pretty great. I like the the design of this gate card. Then we also have his ability card. And I have no idea what it says here. So if someone knows, I'm guessing this is Japanese. If someone knows Japanese, please uh, pause the video and if you could translate what it says and put in the comments, I'd be really grateful for that. And yeah, once again, this looks really amazing. The, the design, you know, Munich is being glowing, looking all menacing and stuff is really great. <laughs> Okay, and here a pretty cool feature about this Bakutech is that it, it like splits in half. As you can see here, it's got this mechanism so that it splits in half. And what is cool here is that you can combine it with other Bakugan. Here I've got my Jigen Dragon. 
and here as you'll see here I'll just open it here for beforehand um, this dragon has basically the exact same mechanism so here you, you can move it and it will pop out and what is pretty cool is that here you take the front of dragon and take the back of Munichus and boom they clip together and you've got a new version of the Bakugan <laughs> and it looks pretty awesome I, I like that combo of all, being it all white looks really nice with this dragon and then the same thing here with Munichus you can take the back of dragon clip it together with the front of Munichus and boom you've got a new version of this Bakugan <laughs> and it looks really badass really great the pretty cool <laughs> I guess feature of these Bakutech Baku and I'm I'm sure these are just two of them but there are way more that also split in half and you can combine them together and what is really cool is that you close them and they work perfectly fine like they close normally like if they were like the main pieces of each other and the same thing with the uh, Drakan you can close the back it will close perfectly fine then you close the front. This one's a bit more complicated sometimes to close, but boom, it works. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty awesome to have these unique Bakugan. on. It's kind of a bummer that these were Japanese exclusives because I'm sure many people out there, you know, outside of Japan would have really enjoyed these ones as well. I mean, they're out there, but they are difficult to get and sometimes they're quite expensive, but if you try and search and I'm sure you'll find good deals for these so you know the hunt for Bakugan it's pretty cool to do and another celebration dance <laughs> okay and last but not least we've got the Evo Battle Arena featuring the OG legendary Leonidas so here let me take my camera let me move it a bit let me move the base a bit so we can have a better look because this box is pretty big it's pretty big compared to my light box where I shoot all these videos so here we can see Leonidas then he's got all the Bakugan that can you know battle in this arena and I'm really liking like this is the first like actual arena I've got from Bakugan like ever ever here you can see we got a Bakugan two cores and two carts and yep I mean let's go and open this box see what's inside okay so first up we've got the first half I guess from the arena then let me get the other one Hold a sec. Okay, here it is. Here we also got the pack with the cards that come with this arena. And if you wait a second here, we've got Leonidas. <laughs> and I'm so happy that I'm gonna finally have a Leonidas. Like, I mean, I think it was everyone's dream after playing the video game to actually have a figure of this Leonidas Bakugan. It was such a shame that they never actually made one, you know, of the classic ones. And when I heard the news that they were actually making a reboot version of this Bakugan, I think this one came out, like, showed up in the video game, you know, I think it's called Champions of Vestroya. And when I saw that this figure was actually going to be released, I was like, what? So I waited and waited and waited until I saw the announcement that this set was going to be released and it was going to feature Leonidas. It was pretty weird, but once, like, a million years ago, like, I don't know, about a year ago, <laughs> I was on eBay and I saw someone actually selling a prototype, I guess, of this Bakugan, but it was in all black. But now they made this Bakugan and it's so amazing. Okay, opening the horn is going to be, it's been a bit difficult. Hold on a sec. Okay, there we go. And ta-da, we've got a Leonidas, like, wow, I mean, wow, wow, wow. I love the background. I mean, it's I know it's not the original design of Leonidas from the video game, but it's Leonidas, and an adaptation of this Leonidas, and I like it quite a lot. From what I've seen in the, I guess, creature form design of this Bakugan, he's got tons of white details around his body and silver ones as well. So what I'm thinking of doing is to make a custom with this one uh, in the near future. 
Um, oh, here, I, I should take this as an opportunity to do a little announcement. I'm getting finally some new, like a bunch of new Gundam markers. I hope they will arrive in about a month. Like, being realistic, it will be about a month for them to reach me here. But once I get them, I'm gonna customize this Leonidas. So, okay, let's see here. Let's try and close this Leo. Oh, okay. It was pretty easy to close. Okay, I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Okay, now let's get that those cards out of this package. And let's see what we got. Okay. Again, let's, uh, let's see. What, nope. Okay, let's be using the scissors again. Um, okay, let's see what we got here. There's one card that's stuck, no. Stuck. <laughs> okay, so once again, we've got an instruction manual. I'm gonna read all of them, as I said before, to see if there are different uh, changes made to the game. I'm guessing there will be changes, because, you know, in the classic one, as the show went on, changes were made to the game. And here we got other Baku cores, which I don't know what they're used for. And here, I believe we've got the instructions to build this battle arena. Okay, I think it's going to be pretty straightforward. Okay, there we can see. Okay, it's just four pieces, so no problem there. And then here we can see that where we can place our Bakugan in the cards. So, okay, now let's look at the cars, and oh, this one looks pretty cool again. Is that Drago? I think that that was Drago there. Is he like evil there, like doing an evil laugh or something? <laughs> yep, he looks pretty evil, <laughs> but I'm guessing it's Drago. <laughs> and then we've got Leonidas, and here, as, uh, as I said before, here you can see that this Bakugan has tons of uh, golden and um, white details. So I'm totally going to do a custom with this Leo to make him look more like his creature form. So stay tuned for that in like a month <laughs> when the Gundam markers arrive. Okay, so off camera, I built the battle arena and it was pretty difficult to fit here. But here you can see that we have three different sections to play as our Bakugan as they, are, as they wait to enter the battle. And this arena is pretty big. So there will be a lot of space for different brawls to take place here. Like my light box where I, you know, my setup where I film is 60 by 60 by 60 centimeters. So this arena is pretty, pretty big, but it looks epic. And I think I'm going to use it in the future to do the review videos I do on Bakugan to have a pretty cool background. So yeah, I'm going to use it for that. Uh, and I'm loving the way it looks. <laughs> So yeah, my friends, this has been my unboxing and review of all these new Bakugan in my collection. I'm really happy that I have them now. And this has been a pretty new uh, version of a video I'm making here, kind of a live com. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I really enjoy doing it and I hope you also enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like. No, also drop in the comments your favorite Bakugan you saw here on the video. And yeah, I mean, thank you a lot for those who stuck around for this like 30 plus minutes of content. You are really awesome. Thank you so much for watching the entire video. And yep, thanks for all the support. Remember to subscribe to the channel as I post videos every Friday and Monday. And yep, it's been Paul and I'll see you in the next video.